<laughs> Easy P. Yeah. Dublin to be specific. Lovely. You call you call me Abby, yeah, that's fine. Abby. I don't mind it. Take one, All my mates call me Abby. Because I bulged it up, that's why. Sorry, I'm embarrassing. <sighs> Happiness means for me, it's got to be love. You know, that feeling when you meet someone and you get all these exciting new feelings because you love them. And because you love them, it makes you happy. So I feel like if everyone finds that person that they love, they're going to be really, really happy. But, you know, that could be quite hard, actually. So you could find maybe something else you love in life, like um, an activity, or you could love um, an animal. Like, I love playing with my pet hamster, Tony. He's such a cute little guy. Um, and if it makes you happy, why not? Like, my mum, this is going to sound so random, but she loves eating strawberry ice cream. Happiness means for me, good sex. I know you think I'm going to sound like a slag for saying that, but I'm not. I'm in a relationship, but if I had to think of the time where I was happiest, it will be when I'm having a good orgasm, you know? And it's not even me just saying that. You know, science says that, you know, you get them hormones releasing the brain and it makes you dead happy. You feel, oh my God, this is the best time in my life. And I feel like if everybody had a good orgasm of every hour, of every day, of every week, of every year. Imagine how happy everybody would be. Happiness means for me, um, beauty. Um, I feel like if you're, if you're beautiful on the outside, then you're gonna feel, um, beautiful on the inside. And I feel like if you're feeling beautiful, that's when you feel most happy. And if you, if you live your life surrounded by beauty, um, you're gonna feel really happy. You know, I have um, a beautiful cottage down by the lake and it's so beautiful. And every time I see that, it makes me really happy. And then if you see, for example, a beautiful sunset, um, this will, you know, make you happy. So if you surround yourself with ugliness, and ugly people and bad, ugly, you know, surroundings, then you're gonna be sad. Happiness means for me, well, do you know what? Before I answer, I'm gonna tell you the funny story. So last night I wrote out my answer, put a piece of paper, I learned it by heart. But then this morning, this expression come to me that I remembered hearing, and it's called, treat others how you want to be treated. And I was like, do you know what? How lovely. So what that means is, like, if I don't want no one to be mean to me and say, oh, God, you're so ugly and stupid, then I shouldn't go saying to someone else, you're ugly and stupid. So in turn, to make them happy and say something nice, I could be like, oh, my God, hon, you look so good in that dress. Your, your figure looks amazing. And then she's happy. And then in turn, she'll probably say something nice and happy to me. So, you know, if you do a good deed... Oh, that's karma, isn't it? So, happiness for me is all about respect, yeah. I feel like once you respect people in life, you're going to be such a happier person. But let me tell you something. There is only one person in this life you need to respect, man. There's only one person in life. And that is yourself. Oh my God, man. When you experience that yourself and you learn that, it can change your life, yeah? So, give you an example. Once I respect myself, yeah, I'm in touch with my feelings. I'm understanding what's happening with my body. And then I respect myself so then I can respect other people. And new people in different walks of life, yeah, that I meet. Instead of being ignorant and in my head, yeah, I respect them. And then you can go on further and like make other people happy. You can respect their planet, yeah? You can do good things in life. So I feel like once you respect yourself and you're good in yourself and good in your heart, yeah, I feel like you're going to be a happy person, happy person in society and make other people happy. Happiness for me is good education, um, which of course is quite laughable because you think, 
public school boy, of course he's gonna say that. But let me elaborate. So um, what I mean by that is, you know, it's great foundation for your schooling. You'll be um, networking with some pretty awesome people. Um, and it gives you a great opportunity to travel, see some incredible places, and then obviously bag yourself uh, a very stable um, job and good finance, which essentially is gonna make you a lot happier person. Well, I can tell you what happiness is not, and that is living in a stressful city like London. I hate it. So let me explain my day. So I start, I get on a crowded tube. I'm pushed in the corner. It's horrible, I can't breathe. And then somebody next to you decides to get out some stinking horrible foreign smelling food. It's horrible, you can't breathe. So then you get out of the tube and then people are pushing past you. They don't see, they don't care because everyone's in a busy, horrible mood. So then you get to your desk at work and you're already exhausted. It's horrible. And then like today, the HR lady, she's like, Deborah, can you do this? Deborah, can you do that? Left, right and send her, I'm telling you. I'm not a performing monkey. Actually, Having that little rant just there, it's got a lot off my chest and I do feel a lot better. I'm feeling really happy today actually. Um, to be honest with you, I love being on camera. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel uh, pretty great actually. I've been accepted onto a master's course, which is very topical. Yeah, I'm feeling boss today actually. Um, I'm usually gonna ask why I'm happy, but it's because I had, had sex this morning actually. Yeah, man, I'm feeling happy, you know, everything is relaxed in life, the sun is shining, Mr. Sun has got his smile and hat on, whatever the expression is. I have a tiny bit of swelling in my lips, but that only lasts a couple of weeks. I'm feeling really happy today. Um, ironically, no, actually. Um, if I'm completely honest, I'm really constipated. I just can't seem to poo really irritating. So that's something I don't love for the record. I sound like such a slag, don't I? But I'm not. It's with my boyfriend. I'm in a relationship. Happiness is, you know, going out on the lash and um, shagging a fit bird. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting to get my point. It's not like in Dublin. They remember. They've got a brain. Can I get the footage of this as well? Are you happy today? Yes? Oh, that's nice.